not so early. The sun's hardly up. Wanna catch cold? Now you get right back in there. Go ahead, get back to your mother. I'll let you up before I go to school. But you stay by your mother for now. can't figure. How far can a man ride when he's wounded? Well, he might not have been hit as bad as the driver thought, Billy. Oh, morning, Sam. Didn't expect you till the end of the week. Well, the complaint was withdrawn. I left in shaking hands. Anything happened here while I've been gone? Gentleman Frank Deegan's back in the territory. We've been searching the hills for him all night. Yep, he held up the eastbound stage last night. He was recognized by the stage driver. Recognized and had a piece taken out of him. You still couldn't find him? Nope. We lost his trail on the road west side of town. Appreciate if you'd take a look at that trail, Sam. Of course, I know you've been riding four days, but Morrison ain't gonna like it when he finds out that Gentleman Frank has slipped through our hands again. All right. I'll get out there right away. You better take Billy with you. He'll show you where we lost the trail. I guess there's no use to tell you this, Sam, but don't let that gentleman part fool you the way it once fooled me. 20 years ago, he was the fastest gun in the Southwest. Now, he may be only a cheap road agent today, but his fangs are still there. Come on, Billy. Tess, stop gulping. I have to let Mickey out before I go to school. Well, that certainly won't take more than a minute. I thought I'd ride her out to the pasture. Now, what did I tell you about riding that poor calf? All right. I won't. Bye, Martha. Bye, Tess. Isn't it better staying in here where it's warm? I think I'll buy a Belfi net, so we always know where you are. Would you like that? You don't have to be afraid of me. I won't hurt you. But you mustn't call out. I promise not to call, huh? I promise.
I'm not going to hurt anybody, as I told the little girl. I'll be out of here by tonight and on my way to the border, but until then, I want you both around here where I can see you. I'll miss her immediately in school. They won't think twice about her not being there. You could have kept her home to do the chores. Let her go to school. Not to school. She stays here around the house. Run along, dear. Uh, play around the house. I'll listen to your tests. You know who I am, don't you? You're an outlaw. Yeah, I'm an outlaw. Outlaws hurt people. You don't want me to hurt your mother, do you? She isn't my mother. She's Aunt Martha. And you better not hurt her. Well, then you better listen carefully. All I want to do is get away from here after dark. Now, if nobody stops me, if nobody knows that I'm around here, then maybe that's what I'll do. And Martha won't get hurt. Now you go on and get out there and play where I can see you. Play in the backyard, Tess. Oh, little girl, listen here. That bell I heard you talking about, huh? You, uh... You think that this is kind of covered, huh? I wouldn't take your old money. I hope she understands that I meant what I said about you. Because I always keep my word. The word of gentleman Frank Deegan? So you recognize me. Your description's been around for quite a while. Well, I'm happy to see that you're not frightened, Martha. That means that you won't make any foolish moves. At least I hope it means that. You got any bandages in the house? You need a doctor, not a bandage. The bullet passed right through. I'll just settle for packing this wound enough to ride on. Now you come on here and help me get up. Huh? Now, Martha, listen. And let me make myself plain. I need you and I need your help. Now, you give it willingly and nothing's gonna happen to you. But you try any tricks and I'm gonna kill you. Where did the gentleman come from? Rather a misnomer, ain't it? Now, listen, I don't want that child to leave the vicinity of this house because I'm gonna be walking a very fine line until I get well out of town. And if I should fall off, you're gonna fall off with me. Now here his horse is walking. Now that doesn't make sense. First he's riding like blazes, then he slows to a walk, knowing he's being chased. Here's your answer, Billy. He abandoned the horse. Sam, look at the amount of blood on this saddle. He couldn't have had the strength to go 100 yards further on foot. He must be close by. Ah, no, that's an old trick, Billy. When you're wounded and being fallen, to get off the horse and send him on, hoping your enemy will pick up the search where the horse is found. You mean he's back a ways near town? Well, let's not take any chances. You scout on ahead. I'll backtrack, see if I can pick up his trail the other side of town. <laughs> I'd have done as much for a dog. I still thank you. There's a horse in the barn. Take him and ride on. I'd like nothing better. But I don't think I'd get very far in daylight. Mother, Mother, I've become very attached to you. So much so that I'd enjoy a presence right here in this room. Thank you once again. Your politeness is beginning to sicken. I'll bet at another time that it would have intrigued you.
You understand she doesn't have to just sit there. She can do what she normally does, as long as she stays somewhere around the house. Do you expect her to be skipping rope under these conditions? It's only a day out of her life, Mother. I hope she never has another one like it. He lives here. Well, this is really my day picking on a marshal's house. Any reason why he'd want to come home this time of day? He's just getting back from a border trip, but I didn't expect him for several days. He'll go right out. He never stops at home during the day. Now listen here, little Tess. I want you to listen to me. Listen careful. If he comes in and leaves, everything will be all right. But if you say anything to him... I won't. I promise. I won't say anything. All right. Now, everybody concerned can be sleeping quite peacefully tonight, including myself, which I consider very important. And for his own sake, I hope that Buckhart's got enough Apache intuition to prefer sleeping to dying. Now, let's get this stuff into the kitchen. Come on, now. you feel like nobly sacrificing yourself. I can open this door and kill Buckhart the instant you make a sound. And believe me, I have no compunctions about killing a man. You have no compunctions, period. Why modify it? Just so she can understand. school today? Miss Ferguson's sick. Oh, sorry to hear that. Is Martha here? Uh, she's taking care of Miss Ferguson. And I'm doing my homework. So you don't have to worry about me having nothing to do. I have to read this whole book by tomorrow. Oh, is it interesting? Deerslayer by James Fenimore Cooper. That's a lot of reading for a little girl in one day. Oh, I can do it if I skip the hard words. Sam, if you'll excuse me now, I'd like to get on with my reading. Sure, it does. She is doing well, I think. She's being tortured. No more than I am. Aren't you leaving now? Well, I, I was just trying to decide if I should fix myself a meal before going into the office. That is, if there's any food in the house. There's not a thing, Sam. Martha took all the food over to Miss Ferguson's. She's over to an end. What did you expect? I can't leave you here all day without any food. I'd better take you into town with me. No. No. I mustn't. I mean, I want to go. I have to read my book. You can read the book in town, or if you prefer, I'll tell you the story. I know it quite well. No! Martha said I was to stay here. 
I can't disobey her. Tess, you're coming with me. I'll explain to Martha later. No, I'm not going with you. You don't understand, do you? How, how sometimes a girl likes to be alone. With, with no grubs around. You don't understand children at all. Nobody does. Tess, I've always tried to understand you. Then go away. Go away and leave me alone. You know what it's cost me to say those things? I could kill you for what you're doing to her. Well, I, uh, I guess I haven't really tried very hard to understand. You'll have to forgive me. I'm sorry. If you want to be alone, that's your privilege. I'm leaving now, Tess. I'll see you later. Goodbye, Tess. He fooled you. He took her with him. He didn't fool me. He just did what I half expected him to do. Then you'd better go now while you can. There are times when you wait. If what I'm thinking is correct, this place will be surrounded by deputies in half an hour. I said before I'd be walking a very fine line before I got away from this place. I never guessed just what a fine line it would be. Then leave. Leave now. And I also said that you'd be my ticket out of town. You know, it's more than likely that I'll have to carry that ticket all the way to the border. <laughs> I'm sorry I forced you to come with me. I couldn't leave you there. Did the man have Martha in the kitchen? Sam, I didn't mean what I said. I didn't. I lied to you. I know. I said such terrible things to you. I'm sorry. It's all right, honey. Now listen, Tess. You must go to school where you'll be safe. But he'll hurt Martha if I don't come back. No, he won't. She's his only chance to escape. Oh, Sam, let him go. Tess, I promise you I'll do nothing but see that Martha is safe. When you come home from school tonight, she'll be waiting for you. That's a promise. Are you sure he won't hurt Martha? Trust me, Tess. You go on to school and trust me. And say nothing to anyone. Just try to be as calm as you can. I'll try. Run along, Tess. They'll take about half an hour to get out of here, I guess. There's still time to leave. They'd run me down before I reached the hills. I spoke of. It might come off quite well. Deegan! Frank Deegan! Gentleman Frank, if you prefer. It makes the gentleman sound indecent. Please. Sam is a good man. Yeah, also very intelligent. Which could work out for the both of us. I'm listening, Buckhart. I'm all alone. As far as I know, nobody else knows you're here. I'm still listening. If you're planning to use Martha to help you escape, I want you to remember one thing. You submit her to the humiliation of riding out with you, and I'll track you down and get you no matter where you go. And I believe him. What's my alternative? My horse is over there. He's fast and tireless. You get by me and he's yours. Don't. Give yourself up. You're an expert with a gun, Deegan. Come out and prove it. 
If you're as good as your reputation, you'll have a good horse and no trouble getting over the border. You'll never get by him, even though he isn't a gunfighter. I wish he were. The fact that he's simply a brave man somewhat frightens me. How about it, Deegan? Get out from behind a woman's skirts and prove the gentleman. It's a good offer. Maybe the best I'll be getting. I'm begging you. Give yourself up. I don't think he can outshoot me. But he's got a lot of things in his favor. For one thing, he's not as tired of life as I am. Come on out, Frank! You faced 50 guns in your lifetime. Or is that reputation as phony as a gentleman? Please, don't go out there. I don't have a choice. How many deputies are waiting to cut me off? They're all the other side of town, Frank. No one will stand in your way. You get by me, you go right to the horse. Chances are you're gonna die in a minute, Buckeye. Your chances are something we should discuss, Frank. You lost a lot of blood. I doubt if you're half as fast as you think you are now. Why not take your chances in court? And hang? No, Burkhardt. Mine will come all right, but not by hanging. Somewhere, sometime, the end of the road will be marked by the unusual and the unexpected, but never by hanging. An Apache Federal Marshal is the unusual, though, isn't it? Now, let's hope I'm not being pessimistic. Frank! Your days of fast drawing are over. I'm ready to disprove that statement, Buckeye. Now. You were right, Buckeye. My day is over long past. Each man should leave something behind, shouldn't he? Well, let me leave you your life. Something I... I might have taken. I guess they just want to be different, Tess. Different from other people? Uh-huh. But they just don't know how to go about it. I want to be different. Well, everybody does, Tess. It's a good thing. When no one is hurt and it benefits the people around you, it's a wonderful thing to be different. Can I ride her across the yard? I don't think she's quite old enough, Tess. Like you're different, Sam. <laughs> like you're different, young mm -hmm. lady. And someday everybody will love you for it. Come on, Mickey. Back to your mommy. Maybe she'll be old enough tomorrow. Yeah. 